Hello, it is Thursday, June 1st, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Thursday puzzle today, which means a themed grid, a slightly more difficult crossword than we've had this week, and some kind of intricate or interesting theme in this potentially intricate or interesting edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by David Innes, Josh Lucas, Bradley Pirtle, and, as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark, the indomitable Shoalmaster, and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. They are keeping this channel going. They're directly supporting this series. For that, I am very appreciative, uh, as I am of the contributions of everybody who has become a patron of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. Thank you if you are one of them. And if you'd like to consider directly supporting this channel, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve, or click the link in the description field underneath the video. And um, there you get all of the bonus videos that have gone up there. And of course, I just noticed it's a, it's a new month, which means there's a new New York Times monthly bonus puzzle. So that's, um, that is something to solve soon for the Patreon channel, as well as, of course, tomorrow's mini puzzle speed solve. Anyway, check that out. Of course, benefactors also get the daily solve. Let's check the crosses mug. And um, you can also join the daily solve discord chat server. There's a link in the description field to that as well. And of course, um, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you've been enjoying these videos. Consider recommending them to a friend as well if you think you know somebody who might enjoy this. Anyway, let's get on to today's crossword. This is a triple collaboration um, by a family, it appears. David and Karen and Paul Steinberg. I think David is the extremely experienced constructor here with well over 100 puzzles to his name. Karen and, Paul, Karen and Paul Steinberg, a small handful of puzzles each, possibly all in collaboration with David. That's my um, that's my guess, but I didn't double check that before uh, starting this video. Anyway, uh, so we have a family uh, creation. That'll be interesting to see what they've come up with. And let's find out. Oh, and it was edited, of course, as always, by Will Shorts. Can't forget that. Uh, he's the he's the permanent member of the of the family and the crossword constructing family in a general sense. Anyway, let's start solving, see what sort of theme we have in store for us today. Gather could be reap as in sowing and reaping. Um, fraternity road letter with a homophone in this clue. A row, right? Okay, there we go. I gave it away and gather. Okay, so maybe it is reap and then Fontaine contents. Oh, well, this could be Fontaine in, uh, Fontaine in French, which would be a fountain, which is, uh, whose contents are water, which is O in French, E-A-U. So I think that's probably the answer. Um, key in a macro. Well, you could have all, you could have a macro sort of, you know, you press Alt R to, I don't know, refresh or do something. Our altar doesn't refresh, but <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Uh, it could be a shortcut for some kind of uh, series of commands on a computer, and it, that could well be what we're looking at there. Christopher Robin's Silly Old Chum. It must be Winnie the Pooh, Pooh Bear. Uh, silly Old Pooh. That sounds familiar from Winnie the Pooh. Uh, a light ring is a halo, a literal ring of light. And if something's not up to us, it's out of... Out of our hands? This must be, oh, ah, what if it's out of our hands? I just realized that because I started typing out of our hands and then I realized the number four has been spelled. And if we did reduce the word four to just the number four, um, out of our, uh, yeah, out of our hands, yeah. Um, then we could fit the the answer that sprang to mind into here. So the question is, is it the number four? If this is indeed correct, the further question is, is this the number four or is it a rebus? And if you don't know what a rebus is, I wouldn't blame you because it's surprising. <laughs> but it is a function in the New York Times crossword by which you can enter any number of letters into a single cell. And it it could be the case that we put four into here. Well, let's look at the down. Coffee with less kick. Oh, maybe this is all wrong. That's decaf. 
Unless it's 4D? That's really weird. <laughs> this looks absolutely bonkers. I don't know. This doesn't seem right to me. Increase the intensity of. Oh, hike, maybe? Extended family. Oh, this could be a clan. Major exporter of gold and cocoa. Ghana? I think, I think Ghana. I mean, this just doesn't look... I don't know. Um, late spring celebrant. Um, I'm not sure. Subtle expression in contempt in modern of contempt in modern lingo. Uh, I'm not sure. Managed, you ran a business maybe, you managed it. Puts on, dons or uh, puts on. Late spring, oh, a grad, a graduate. You could, you could graduate from a particular school in late spring when many graduations take place. Okay, puts on ads. I see, you put something on, uh, I don't know, the pan, you add it to the pan, or you put on a few pounds, you add a few pounds. Uh, turn off digitally, dis something. So what about this? Oh, shade, subtle, subtle expression of contempt in modern lingo is shade. So turn off digitally is D select or something. I don't know, I'm not saying what that is. Uh, racing boats are, I don't know, something, something around here is still not quite right. Increase the intensity of extended family. Racing boats. Calling for tails, maybe. And airplane, and this is spinal tap spoofs, I guess. If that's the answer, I don't really agree in the case of this is spinal tap. Airplane is spoofing 1970s disaster films, but Spinal Tap isn't, it's not, it's not really a spoof. It's more of a satire because it's, the thing it's satirizing is an actual real world concept as opposed to sort of the, the you know, self-important, but kind of dumb rock band. But it's not like, it's not, well, I don't know. Could you say it's spoofing? Those bands, I would think of a spoof as being something that's kind of imitating another kind of film, which I guess it sort of is as a documentary. I don't know. Uh, anyway, completely pointless discussion. I think that's probably the answer. Should that be the case? If so, double or triple brew is an IPA, an India Pale Ale. You could have a double IPA or a triple IPA, very hoppy beers. Short-term shop is a pop-up. It's only present for a short period of time. And if something came about, it arose. Calling for tales, maybe. Does it mean with a coin toss? Calling for tales. Uh, I'm just not sure. Yeah, sorry. This looks like oust. Yes, so to boot someone is to oust them from office, for instance. And Vermont's freedom and unity, e.g. That must be the motto of the state of Vermont. So calling for tales, maybe. Oh, it's formal. It's nothing to do with a coin toss. It's wearing formal clothing. So you're you're calling for tails, uh, you know, um, I don't know, maybe white tie, black tie or white tie, something like that. And uh, so this is a men's fashion thing. And then, oh, racing boats are shells. So what is this? This is wrong. This must be wrong. Increase the intensity of heen. What am I doing wrong? This 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 seems wrong. Deepen or, or heighten? Eight. Eight. It's number eight. Okay, so. Oh. Eh. So if it were eight. So is this 48? But then, what's this calf? I was thinking maybe four represents the the letter D because it's the fourth letter of the alphabet, but E is the fifth letter of the alphabet, so that wouldn't work here. 
Oh, what am I missing? I'm really sorry about this. Um, this feels like what it's supposed to be, but I don't understand the down. Coffee with less kick. 48 calf. 4D8E. I don't really understand why that may, you know, in other words, if this were 4D, because 4D is a, you know, that that's a, a phrase that gets used. But then to make the decaf, this would have to be 8E. 4D, 8E. What would that mean? I don't understand what that means. Ugh. I don't really get it. I'll have to keep going through the puzzle and hopefully figure this out. I'll have to remember those are there. Hotter substitute for jalapeno, serrano pepper. So jalapeno chili pepper, serrano pepper is hotter than that. Uh, turn off digitally, D something, okay. Printer brand, I don't know. Book teaser, a blurb maybe? I thought a blurb was more of a promotional, bit of promotional text. Maybe that's what they mean by teaser. Some of these fasten in the front. Um, bibs? I don't know. Is it time already? So soon, you could ask? Brick in a kit, a Lego brick. You could have a Lego kit. And Salt Lake City team, the Utes, Utah, Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, to hold on to something is to get set. Um, something a chair needs. Agency? If you're chairing a meeting, you need agency to make choices. That doesn't seem right. Something a chair needs. Um, primal drive. Uh, the libido could be one's primal drive. Uh, something a chair needs. Oh, an agenda, right. So it's on the right track in terms of chairing a meeting as opposed to the article of furniture, but I didn't think of this, which is you need an agenda. Some of these facet in the front. Boas, as in a feather boa around your neck. It doesn't really fasten, it just sort of, you just kind of drape it around. So that's, oh, bras. You could have a front fastening bra rather than fastening in the back. There we go. And hold on to is retain something, and Grammy equivalent is Nan. So not Grammy the award, but rather Grammy referring to one's grandmother, which um, here in the UK, uh, often referred to as one's nan. And to turn off digitally is to, oh, it is deselect. All right, okay. Um, and then a printer brand. Oh, Rico maybe? I think Rico is a printer brand. I've seen them. Crude letters. Could be crude as an oil maybe? Oh, yes, it is. OPEC. Um, the kind of, uh, what is it? Oil... Um, OPEC, it's the oil producing export cartel or something, something like that, or committee or something. Um, anyway, it's something like that. You know, it's the oil producing nations that uh, band together to set prices. Um, all right, so pretty darn good is not so bad. What am, what am, what am I going to get some more of this theme? I want to figure it out. Food that's folded are tacos, trashes. Um, pans, you could review something negatively, you could trash it, pan it. Doctor's reassurance before a shot. Maybe this will be thematic. These look, this looks odd. Maybe not so bad is incorrect. This feels like it could be more than one possibility and the S doesn't really work very well here. Uh, it won't hurt. Yes, we could put a two in there. I and then uh, TWO. Of course, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> and there would be another, so there would be another letter in here if, if it follows the format of the other. If it follows the format of the other one, there will be a letter here that I don't understand, and then this would be bad, not too bad. Um, small fancy confections. Oh, petit fours. Petit four in, in French. Um, so... Uh, it would just be a four, I guess. So, sorry, what am I missing here about decaf? Oh, no, it's the same. Yeah, it is exactly what I said. There's a number here that I don't yet understand, and then the rest of it makes sense. So 48, so 24 is a multiple. Sorry, 48 is a multiple of 24. 
So 24 is a factor of 48. In other words, 48 divided by 2 is 24. That seems probably non-coincidental. Dot on a nautical map. An isle, maybe? Small island. Brand by a bathroom sink. Oral-B is a um, uh, oral hygiene brand. Tooth toothbrushes and things like that. Like some whiskey. I, you could have Irish whiskey. And a store with a suggested navigational path could be Ikea. Uh, one way to get around in urban areas. Take a bus. As simple as that. Wild animal with dangerous 73 across. Uh, and then 73 just says C72 across. Um, I'm not sure. Vibes could be... I'm not sure. We're liable to a lender. This probably this probably involves a number. It's symmetrically disposed relative to out of uh, our hands. Um, let's look around. Possible cause for insomnia. Um, I'm not sure. Win-win. Win-win. No, no lose? <laughs> Yeah, that seems likely enough. Incenses, angers. You can incense someone, anger them. Religion with West African and Catholic influences. Um, I'm not sure offhand. What is that? Hope it's obvious when I see it. First Nissan model offered as a hybrid. Oh, I have no idea. Well, actually, there Nissan Altima. That's a that's a model of Nissan. So maybe it's just that. Um, is it, a, I think it's A-L-T-I-M-A. -A. It's a brand of car, um, or a model of car. Director DuVernay, yes, Ava DuVernay. So there we go. And do you see, get that maybe, or got that? Let's look at this one. Let's delete this until, make amendments to edit something. City associated with pasta carbonara Rome. That's one of the um, pasta dishes associated with Rome, like pasta al gricia and, and uh, so on. Um, river gambler, an otter. Uh, so gambles around the river, sort of frolics around the river. Really take off is to soar. Oh, voodoo. And then, so that's the religion with West African and Catholic influence. And then do you see is got that, got that, not got that. Okay, there we go. So what else? I um, haven't looked up here yet, I don't think. Settings for naval gazing and naval gazing with a question mark makes me think instead of naval gazing, meaning kind of looking down and being sort of dejected, it rather, I think, probably means naval at sea. Maybe seas? <laughs> uh, food that's rolled. Oh, yeah, sushi. Okay, there we go. And a corporate shakeup could be a reorg, a reorganization. Uh, less wild is tamer. Um, prognosticator is a seer, someone who predicts the future, sees the future. Not out is at home, simple enough. And a fancy bash is a soiree. It sort of just sounds fancier, doesn't it? It's a soiree. It's not a do or a party. Uh, inning part when the visiting team bats is the inning, inning part. Sorry, it's probably very obvious. Barring is baseball, obviously. Barring changes as is or possible cause for insomnia, made amends, you repented. I'm trying to think if there's something where a number could go into it. Actually, where will our numbers likely be? Probably here and here, actually. So yeah, it may well, may well be in here, actually. Oh, so barring changes could have one as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's keep looking around. Vibes, a relative of a cor anglais, a horn, or uh, what else? Um, it's an instrument. Quit discussing. To quit discussing something, to stop, to. It seems too general. As yet unknown for short. 
to be to be announced or to be determined, maybe? If it's not no, well, it could be either still. You could not know it because it hasn't been announced or because it hasn't been determined. An oboe is a relative of a cor anglais. There we go. And good question. Good question. Good answer. Yes? Uh, good question. How? I don't know. I'm just wondering what reliable to a lender. What is this? Oh, this is the wild animal. Uh, quit discussing. Okay, I'm running out of steam here, aren't I? Reliable to a lender. Possible cause for insomnia. Um, could this be something like top half or something like that? Ah, that's what it is. That's how this works. This is not not so bad. It's, and this is not decaf, it's half calf. And this is not half bad. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh. <laughs> okay. This is the top half of an inning. And so this will be 12, presumably, because we're each one of these, is, in addition to each of these meaning half, each one is half of the preceding one. And of course, we didn't have a 96 preceding this, but 48 sort of reduces by half to 24, which reduces to um, 12. Well, no, sorry. 4 over 8 reduces to 24. It's 2 over 4, which reduces to 1 over 2. So it's not, this isn't 48, 24, and, and 12. It's 4 eighths, 2 fourths, and 1 half, each of which is the same, ultimately the same fraction, 1 half. Ah, okay, there we go. I think that's how this is. So made amends, atoned. And so this is two, reliable to a lender. To, uh, I'm not sure yet. Quit discussing. Oh, dro you could drop a subject. Stop discussing it. Yes. There we go. So this looks um, worthy, credit worthy. Take a cab, not a bus in an urban area. Okay, fair enough. Uh, cred, yes, this works. Credit worthy. Credit T W O. R-T-H-Y, yep, okay, great. And then loyal is true. Oops. Uh, swinging 60s is, oh, an era, it's just simply an era, that's all it is. Uh, vibes are auras, why didn't I think? Oh, it's because I had take a bus, oh, that was silly, I shouldn't have put take a bus in there. Or because when I saw vibes, I thought auras, but then I thought, well, it can't be that because we have a U, but of course that could have been other things. Ah, that was very silly. Okay, um, wild animal, a bear, with dangerous paws, as yet unknown, yes, TBA, to, to be announced, and good question is how. Okay, fair enough, I guess it was that. So, what else? Uh, palindromic tracker is a radar. It is palindromic because it reads the same starting from either direction, and a possible cause for insomnia. I see it's a drip. It could be keeping you awake because of the irritating repetitive sound and then barring changes is as it is right okay and that was the crossword i'm very glad i figured this out before the end um so this was the second time this week when it took me quite a quite a ways through the puzzle to understand the theme and this one i could see yeah i mean this one is a bit of a stumper and especially because some of these things um inning part when the visiting team bats. Um, I'm, sh I'm sure, uh, you know, most, uh, many Americans would know that. But if you aren't from North America and you don't, and baseball isn't um, sort of commonly, just not very as commonly played, this might be a, this might be a fairly baffling um, answer and it involves two of these numbers. So that could be, that could be tricky. Um, yeah, so this was, this was very well done. We had out of our hands, uh, heighten, um, uh, it won't hurt. I have to kind of rethink about this. Petit four, um, 
atoned and credit worthy. And those are all helping us construct our half answers, half calf, not half bad, and top half, which are made with these reducing fractions, each of which is equivalent to one half, but which are um, framed in such a way where the numerator and denominator are themselves reduced by half with each successive theme answer. It's very, it's very clever and very well orchestrated. The whole thing comes together very, very cleanly. So well done to the whole Steinberg family. Um, it's a very, it's a very, it's a nice theme idea and extremely uh, conscientiously um, implemented. So nice job. And let me know how you fared with this one. How, if you got this more quickly than I did, or if you struggled with it, always curious to know in the comments or in the Daily Solve Discord chat server. And um, and that's that for today. I'm going to take off and keep drinking tea to try and try and soothe my throat a bit. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me on this edition of the Daily Solve. I'll be back tomorrow with the Friday puzzle. No, no theme, no, no strange fractions in tomorrow's grid, unless they're entirely spelled out in letters. Um, so join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Thursday. Take care. Mm-hmm.